Hi, Scottish Mud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. We've come along a bit late in the day. Uh, we were out this morning, we just decided to go for it. So we've come along to Envy Beach to see what we can find as the tide comes in. A few weeks ago, we reached 5,000 subscribers, so to say thank you to all our subscribers, new and old, we'll be announcing a giveaway at the end of this video. As we've got here a wee bit late in the day, we're going to run right down to the front before the water covers that area up and we'll just make our way back along to the car. So the entire video today, we're heading back to the car. <laughs> Looks like a scavenger hunt today. <laughs> we're running in here and we're trying to grab what we can <laughs> whilst the tide comes in. And Nicole just spotted this wee piece of blue glass. Yeah. So we're definitely taking that. Let's have a wee close look at that though, it's very nice. Oh, that's got a really nice shape. Really thin. Cool. We're going to take that. Nice. Yeah. It's always interesting to find a bottle bottom and one that looks as old as this one and as battered as this one. It's always a nice treat. That's really lovely. Absolutely covered in sea marks. Put these wee shells in it there. That's a very nice find. It's very shiny inside. Uh, but we can certainly use that for displaying sea glass. We can use it for displaying uh, shells or marbles. You name it. Bottle bottoms are great for that. So as the water laps at my ankles, I'm just going to get along, see how Nicole's doing, and to show her this really cool bottle bottom. So how are you doing? So I've just found a bit of milk glass and a bit of green pottery that kind of looks like a leaf. Do you want to see it? Yeah, very cool. That's very cool. It's, it's quite bright just now, so I can't really quite see the green through there, but it's vivid green. Yeah. You'll definitely see that uh, in the video. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. It is, isn't now, it? Now, I've just handed you something that I found, and I think you might know why I have those little shells. So I've just handed you that really nice uh, bottle bottom. It's very uh -huh. heavy, really nice and thick. Uh -huh. Amazing sea marks around that. Yeah. Really shiny on the inside. Mmm, yeah, as you would expect because the, the rocks couldn't really penetrate the inside, but they can on the outside. We're going to make a treasure chest with shells. Yeah. Now, <laughs> right at Oops. this very second, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to lift all the bags up because the water is coming in right around our feet just now. <laughs> okay, so the water's well and truly on its way in. It's actually yeah. lapping at our ankles now. So <laughs> yeah. um, let's head back towards the car. We came down to get to this part of the beach yeah. uh, with the one single aim of heading back to the car. Yeah, and to find a marble. So okay. <laughs> let's see, maybe we can still find one. <laughs> right, Nicole just about stepped. It's a really nice wee piece. You can see it just getting submerged there. So if we grab that out of the water before the, the sea takes it back. Quickly, quickly. Yeah. Oh. I think that's a nice wee piece. Yeah, it's got a really nice shape. Let's do okay, that. let's get out of here before, <laughs> before the water comes in. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of this nicely frosted sea glass. We'll take these wee bits. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find that marble Nicole's looking for. So the last time we were here, we both found a marble and I am really hoping that that little stretch in front of me isn't going to get covered over by the water so fast. Let's see if I can find a marble in that little stretch now. Hmm, nice wee bit of milk glass there. Oh, that's nice. It's like a, a turquoise colour really nice it's almost a bit sparkly looks like it's a uh, turquoise and opalescent 
That's nice. We'll take that. Now, a wee while ago in the comments, we got a question, and the question was, do you use shells for jewellery making? Now, normally, we don't, but we have used these little pieces before. Let's take that out and have a look. There's a little bit more of this one on the side than we'd normally take, but we'll put it in that way. And anyone who hasn't seen us describe these before, we think these look like birds. There's a little tail piece going over here, a little wing and body, and a wee head. So we have used these to make earrings before. This one has a little bit too much shell on the back, so we'll leave that. But if we find some more, we might make some more of those. Well, there's always nice sea glass to find here. It's a nice wee piece. This, I reckon, is a, maybe the bottom of an old sauce bottle. But what we're really looking for is some of those more special things like bottle stoppers and who knows, even maybe a bit of frozen Charlotte. We might get lucky. Oh, can you see what I see? Right there. It's a piece of pink flash glass. Now flash glass is glass that has two layers. The top layer here, that's pink, and the layer beneath it, that's clear. And it was very popular in the 1930s. So this piece is, well, it's actually at least uh, 90 years old, and I don't know if it's been on the beach that long, but it's definitely coming home with us. Now this is an interesting we find. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is milk glass. Very odd wee piece of pottery alongside it. But we'll take this milk glass along. I think it's milk glass. If it is, it's a really great shape and a really nice size. But I'll take these both along to Nicole. Well, here it is. It's the star find. That's really awesome. Now, I think Nicole just heard me say the star find. Yeah. This is definitely the best thing we've found today. I'm going to cover it up because we don't want Nicole to find it. No, I'll show that to Nicole just now. It's a wee, uh, I think that's a machine made marble. Yes, it's a cat's eye marble with two colours in yeah. it. Yeah, it's uh, red and blue. So I was just coming along to show you a couple of things when I spotted this wee gem. Oh. So we'll take that. So. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa! I nearly walked over a large stone and landed on my butt. Thankfully, I, I didn't. So um, Nicole's doing her snoopy dance, yay. and I think this is on account of this wee gem. It is. So, there we go. Oh, that's what I hoped for. It's a really nice marble. It's really big. It's a lovely one, that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's much larger than the cat's eye marbles are usually. They're usually 16 millimeters, and this looks more like it's the size of a cod marble, yeah. which is what, more 18 or 19. Ah. That is a good find. That's an excellent find. I mean, the thing that I like about that one is it's very, very symmetrical. It's very, very nicely round. It's almost perfectly round. That's amazing. Or is it cylindrical? No, it's not cylindrical. It's round. It's a globe. <laughs> it's a perfect globe. It's a sphere. It's a sphere. A sphere. That's the word. <laughs> now, I have a pocket full oh. of uh, other bits and bobs that I just okay. want to gonna... empty into your hands for a second. I'm going to pocket that marble, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take a closer look at that later. I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera All badly. All right. Yeah, so I reckon that's the best of my finds, but the very best of them being that really lovely machine-made marble. Yeah. That you've quickly pocketed away. <laughs> yes, that's safe and secure. Now, is this, is this milk glass? It looks like it, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it reminds me of the piece that I found uh, in South Queen's Ferry when we were there with Northern Mutlarks, and it, I thought it was uh, a bone, but it was milk glass, and it looked just like that. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice, clear white colour, that one. Yeah. And you found a bit of transfer wear? Yeah, just a wee bit. Ah. Oh, it's got mark I never even looked on the back. Yes, pattern on both sides, nice. I see you picked up your favourite bottleneck. Yeah, it's not the best bottleneck, but you know, it's <laughs> a bottleneck. Yeah, and what's this? I don't know. 
Ah. Now, I'm not even sure if that's ceramic. It was just sitting there. It looked too um, artificial. Ah. And the curve in there uh, certainly looks like a glaze on pottery, but I could not tell you what that is. I think it looks like flint. Really? Yeah. Like oh. uh, one of those uh, fire stones. Stone oh, yeah. you make fire with. Yeah, flint. We just call it flint. <laughs> fire stone. Yeah. Ah, flint okay, stone. Yeah. And I think that's um, the bottom of a sauce bottle, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We might take leave that here. Yeah, it's a bit Because shiny, it's a bit shiny. It? So we'll leave this one here and we'll take these other wee bits and then we can make a bottle with finds from Envy Beach. Cool stuff. <laughs> So we haven't been here all that long. As we said when we got here, the tide is chasing us off this part of the shore. So let's head back to the car. this what is it is it a piece of just decorative milk glass or is it maybe oh no it's a half button oh that's amazing oh i love this this is so cute it's got these little flowers on the side i wish it was whole but i'm very happy with this piece so i'm gonna take that And you found a couple of really nice things as well. Do you yeah. reckon that's the star find? I think that's a star find. I found a piece of pink, but this one is my favourite find so far. Okay, I think that's in focus. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to explain what that is, it looks like a little green blob with a nice, uh, some nice markings on it, but it's a bit more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely piece of turquoise milk glass and it has flowers on it. And it's actually half a button. If I turn it around, you can see this little groove here and that's where the button would have had its little, well, its attachment. It's maybe a, a little loop or something. So yeah. I turn it around to the knife There's bit again. a technical term for that, <laughs> but I don't know what it sure is. Sure is, yeah. So yeah, that's my star find. Very cool. Uh -huh. Nice wee bit of sponge wear. Another wee piece of pottery off to the side, but that's just blank. Now that's a green piece of sponge wear. We pattern on that. Not sure we'll be able to make out exactly which design it was. But that's a nice wee find. Yeah, I found a mystery object. Okay, let's have a wee look at that. I'll pop that down beside there. Now that's ceramic. Mm -hmm. It has lots of ridges on it. Uh, that could be uh, one of these insulator type things, I'm not sure. Or maybe from a light bulb, there's a little bit of writing on the reverse. Alright, so we can check that out mm -hmm. and have a look and see what that says. Yeah, we can say that it says something, is it like for? It's IED for, so it's maybe applied for or something? Yeah, who knows? Mm, not sure. Okay, we'll take them. Craig's just spotted this lovely piece of pottery. See? Oh, that's really nice, really nice and uh, ornate pattern. See? And on the other side. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a ship. Oh, that's amazing. I can't quite uh, make out what the letters say. Well, it says W A A plus Co. This England at Mark, so we might just be able to find the maker for this but this is really nice I think the back's gonna be the front <laughs> from the information that we found out about this piece of pottery the company that produced it was named William Alsager Adderley and Co and they were based in Stoke and Trent we can date this object because and Co was only used by that company between 1886 and 1905 uh -huh. 
Aha. That's nice. Lovely cobalt blue. It's probably the bottom of a poison bottle. So, that's one of my favourite finds. Looks like it's going to be a really nice size, maybe for a pendant. We're going to take that. So I've just found these two pieces and this one we can clearly see ALD I think it's safe to say that that would have said Kirkcaldy It's very thick as you can see It's also very shiny on this inside it Looks like this is maybe the base This piece is far less obvious There's no obvious markings on that Maybe a little, maybe a little feature just here, but certainly no lettering. So I was just about to say to Nicole, you know, I think we've uh, spotted some of the best stuff within the first few seconds of being here, and then out of the corner of my eye, this unnatural colour just pops. There's a little bottle bottom over there with some numbers on it as well. I don't know what that's uh, like. So you're always distracted by the next thing along, but let's have a look at this. This oh. has uh, has contours, some kind of pattern on it. Right. It's embossed. Okay, I really want to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, let's pick that up and take a closer look. Okay. Uh, that's really nice. It kind of looks like a flower. Yeah, it does. Yeah, almost like a rose or something. It's, uh, it's relatively thin, so I think it might have been a uh, a tableware, a decorative glass. So just as I found that really nice blue piece there, mm -hmm. I was about to say uh, we're not finding very much at the moment and I didn't think we'd find anything on all that sand just behind you. Ah, I did find a piece of blue and a piece of green milk glass though, so it is worth looking over there. Okay, well let's have a look, we'll have a look on the sand and by the edge yeah. of the water then. Yeah. Well, there we go. Nicole was right to look in the sand. Really nice wee piece of pottery there. It's a lovely wee pattern. Very delicate, very clear, and yet a very nicely softened up and uh, well frosted piece of pottery. That's a great wee find. Lovely wee piece. Tiniest hint of a blue mark on the back. The, the water's coming in just off to the side of me here so I'm going to pick that piece up and we'll take it away just before the water completely submerges it more of this pirate sea glass whoops <laughs> camera's pointing in the wrong direction so more of this pirate sea glass this is really big it's so shiny in here as well that's very surprising, but it's so thick, you can tell this is old because it's just far too thick for a new bottle. It's quite a small bottle as well, it would have been very narrow. Such a shame, it's clearly broken not, not very long ago, because it's still so shiny in here. This looks like a handle of a wee teacup or something like that. I got a wee bit of a ceramic in there as well, <laughs> maybe it was the teacup. And with the sun back to Nicole, you can barely see her face, but it's nice and warm. <laughs> now, I found these, so that's a bit of a, oh. a bit of an oddball collection there, I think. Okay, more pirate glass. Yeah, so, well, it's a couple of things. Big bit of pirate glass there. That must have been a very, very narrow bottle, I think, as well. Yeah, maybe one of these half pints, who knows? Maybe, yeah. It's really thick, though. And then you found a bottleneck. That one is really nicely frosted. Yeah, that's a nice bottleneck. So I thought we'll take that one. Mm -hmm. And that looks like the neck of a bottle. Sorry, I'm just looking down the lens of the camera <laughs> and just Oops. trying to find where my feet are. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. so, okay, uh -oh. pick up the camera. That's the water coming in around our ankles just now. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So as you can see, we have uh, minutes before we have to be off the shore. The water's just about to close in up there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I reckon we've got maybe 20 minutes or so and then we really, really want to be out of here. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, that is... Oh, I like this one. Look, I don't think I've found a brown kick-up before. That's very unusual. That's really pretty. Let's hold that against the light, huh? Okay. There we are. Funny little piece. It's like a hat. Look what I found. It's a kick up. Yeah, but it's brown. Yeah, and it's quite a big one as well. Uh -huh. Now I've found a couple of things that are all bottle related as well. Okay. And one that isn't bottle related. That's a really cool kick up. Is there any Ponteel or any... Uh, no. Mamelone? No Mamelone? No, no nothing. No Ponteel? No. It does feel like it's got a little bit of a texture inside though. Alright. But it's very unusual and brown. I've never found one before like this. Well, we're going to head back off the beach now. As you can see, the water's well in behind me. The water really comes in pretty fast in here. Once it starts coming in, it fills this area up really quite quickly. It's quite a shallow area here, uh, so maybe that's not so surprising. But at the moment, the water's coming in so much so that we really just can't stay here anymore. So we're going to get back off that way towards the bridge, and then we'll head back towards the car. So I found something, and it's not something that I'm particularly fond of, uh, but uh, I know Nicole likes these things, and Nicole has a large jar of them, and I'm sure she's going to make a wee whooping noise when she ah, sees this one, because it's very big. I wonder what it was. It's a tooth. It is. It's a huge tooth. That's funny. <laughs> I just walked past it. Yeah. I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> very big one. Yeah. Oh, yep. It, the tooth that keeps giving. Okay, yeah, that is a really big tooth. It is. It's very chunky. Look at it. I think it's one of the bigger ones that we've found. How oh, cool. Yeah, we are going to take that. Okay, very uh, well, um, yeah, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Acquired yeah, okay. taste. It is, it is, and it's an acquired taste. Yeah. We'll yeah. leave it at that. Uh -huh. Let's just say I'm the tooth fairy. Uh, the horse tooth fairy. <laughs> I think Nicole's just getting up close to that bridge. The last few finds of the day if there are any up there. There's lots of new broken glass around here, so in years to come, I guess that's going to be sea glass. Well, are you having much luck up here? <laughs> I found a couple of pieces of pottery. They're all transfer wear. Okay. Um, one's really faded. I, th I think it needs a good soap, but um, we're going to take this one because it's got an amazing pattern. Very cool. Let's have a look at that. Uh -huh. These are our favourite pieces from Envy Beach. As always, Envy Beach never disappoints. You know how much I love finding milk glass and it's really nice to find jadeite green and this kind of sky blue as well. We found some lovely cobalt blue pieces and we'll see if we can make a few pieces of jewellery with them. few really nice pieces of pottery here. They're all transfer wear. This one appears to be bone china and it's much thinner but they all have lovely patterns and the perfect shape for a pendant. There are a few more unusual finds and this brown kick up is one of them. We've never found a brown kick up before and that's really quite exciting. And not to everybody's taste, but something that I collect is a very large tooth. And these teeth are commonly found and are sheep's teeth or cow teeth. So today we've got a little bit of a competition between the best finds. 
there's that lovely, lovely pink heart. You remember that piece from the video that I said, watch out and see what it looks like cleaned up. Now here it is, and it's a gorgeous piece of milk glass on one side and a pink layer on the top. Now we think this is not flash glass, but satin glass. It's a really lovely heart shape and I'll be sure to make that into a gorgeous necklace. The reason why we think this pink piece is not flash glass is that flash glass typically has a clear layer with a coloured layer on the top. This piece, however, has an opaque layer with a pink layer on the top. Another contender for best find of the day is that really gorgeous partial milk glass button. Now I really love these little flowers on the top and I really really wish it had been whole but I'm equally happy with that being just a partial button because we don't really find very many buttons at all. Absolutely gorgeous piece, let us know what your favourite is. Continuing then with some of these unusual finds of the day, we have some of these ceramic pieces that we found. We reckon that this is probably an insulator. If you remember one of our early videos at Envy Beach, there's a large power station that used to be on that site. So we find lots of little things like this. We find some glass that we reckon are insulators as well. So we reckon that this looks a lot like the kind of insulator that's wrapped around electrical cabling on pylons. This other little ceramic piece is interesting as well, mainly for what it has written on it. As you can see, there's some writing on this. And I guess I'm going to say that originally this said patent applied for. We also think it has an electrical use and it may be some kind of insulating material, but we can't say for sure, it's far too partial. We have two other contenders for best find of the day. This really lovely piece of turquoise glass. It's very heavily embossed, but it's so thin, it's hard to say what it could be. We think it might be a sweetie jar. Now the last time I said sweetie jar, it provoked a couple of questions. For clarity then, when I say sweetie, if you're Australian, I mean lolly, and if you're American, I mean candy. Back in the day, my grandmother would have a wee bowl like this and it would have rock hard mints in it that you would be offered when you came into the house. If you're watching in a part of the world where you neither call candies candy or sweeties or lollies, let us know what you call them. So unsurprisingly, I have a bit of a bias about the best find of the day. I think the best find of the day is this machine made marble. It's really lovely. It's a cat's eye marble with a tricolour red, white and blue centre. It's beautifully frosted and sea marked. It's a real cracker of a find. I think you'll all agree, this has to be the best find of the day.
thank you all so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom of the screen, just tick that and you're subscribed. Thanks everybody for supporting us through Kofi, Amazon or our Etsy shop. It really makes a massive difference and we couldn't do this without you. As promised, here are the details on the giveaway. Nicole's prepared a bunch of goodies and put them into a little beach box and if you want a chance to win that beach box just leave a comment in this video that that comment must read. I want that beach box, send it to me now. Good luck! <laughs>